Hi everyone, this is Dr. Selena Nayan Zhou, one of the trainee editorial board members in radiology imaging cancer. I'm a radiology resident in the University of Texas Medical Branch at Galveston. We're launching a new podcast series where we summarize interesting articles into a bite size. This podcast provides background knowledge for everyone to understand and enjoy oncologic imaging research on the go. This is Bite Size Research for Radiology Imaging Cancer, March 2023 issue. The first article is from Northwestern University in the United States. The first author is Dr. Andrew Gordon, and the senior author is Dr. Sarah White. The title of the article is Chemical Shift MRI Monitoring of Chemoembolization Delivery for Hepatocellular Carcinoma. Multicenter Feasibility of Initial Clinical Translation. Little background on approaches to non-resectable HCC. The treatment choices for hepatocellular carcinoma are based on tumor stage, liver function calculated with child pew score, and ECOG performance status that measures the patient's ability to function daily. Broadly, HCC treatment can be divided into resectable versus non-resectable tumors. Most patients present with non-resectable tumors due to advanced tumor size, vascular invasion, and presence of metastasis. The Barcelona Clinic Liver Cancer, or BCLC, staging system is commonly used for treatment planning as the staging reflects the prognosis. Patients with early-stage ACC defined as single tumor measuring up to 5 cm without vascular invasion are classified as BCLC0 or BCLC-A and are candidates for resection or ablation with or without liver transplantation. On the other hand, patients with metastasis, an extrahepatic extension of tumor, or vascular invasion with good liver function are classified as BCLCC. They are treated with systemic therapies such as sorafenib. Patients with poor liver function or ECOG performance status are categorized as BCLCD and receive supportive care. BCLCB is intermediate category assigned to patients with large multinodular tumors but relatively good liver function. BCLCA and BCLCB are treated with transarterial chemoembolization. Conventional transarterial chemoembolization for hypervascular HCC utilizes emulsification of iodinized oil, also known as lipidol, and active chemotherapy agents such as doxorubicin or mitomycin C. The mixture is infused into arterial tumor feeding vessels. The mechanism of tumorcidal activity is still under investigation, but essentially, it is a targeted delivery of concentrated cytotoxic chemotherapy followed by selective induction of ischemia. So, why did the authors do this study? Unfortunately, chemoembolization data have been primarily generated from highly heterogeneous technical approaches that vary by institution and operator regarding the chemotherapy agents, chemotherapy dosing, and delivery vehicles such as lipidol or other embolizing materials such as blend beads or drug eluting beads with various sizes. In May 2014, experts came together to develop a consensus on standard method of taste. However, there is no standard chemoembolization dosimetry. Having a formal dosimetry model would allow quantitative imaging to estimate drug delivery and retention to the tumor. In turn, this will facilitate the interinstitutional comparisons of outcome and prognostic metrics to optimize future chemoembolization protocols. It may guide earlier reintervention for improved patient-specific outcomes. CT provides excellent visualization of intrahepatic lipidal distribution, and it is important imaging biomarker for immediate confirmation of successful tumor targeting after taste. 
However, retained lipidol may obscure tumor enhancement on follow-up triphasic CT, limiting the response assessments and detection of residual tumors. Alternatively, MRI provides superior soft tissue contrast. The authors did a prospective multicenter study to demonstrate the feasibility of using chemical shift fat water magnetic resonance imaging method to visualize and measure intrahepatic lipidal delivery to liver tumors following conventional tastes. The hypothesis was that the chemical shift MRI can delineate lipidal uptake and retention in targeted tumors. Lipidal imaging metrics could stratify responders versus non-responders based on established response criteria by modified resist and EASL for local regional therapies in HCC. EASL stands for European Association for the Study of the Liver. Size-based resist criteria which monitor the progression of tumors that are considered to represent tumor burden are the most extensively used and validated criteria worldwide. However, the resist criteria cannot reliably determine the treatment benefits of local regional intraarterial therapies such as TACE. The modified resist and EASL criteria were developed to assess tumor response to local regional treatment targeting the hyper-enhancing tumors. They introduced the concept of viable tumor, defined as visualization of any degree of enhancement after contrast injection. Purpose. This study aimed to demonstrate the feasibility of using chemical shift fat water MRI to visualize and measure intrahepatic lipidal delivery to the liver tumors following the conventional taste. The hypothesis was that these matrix could stratify tumor response on follow-up MRI. Methods. 28 patients with hepatocellular carcinoma treated with conventional taste were evaluated. Lipidal uptake was evaluated on first-month follow-up chemical shift MRI measurements of tumor size with MRI and CT, attenuation and enhancement on CT, fat content percentage, and tumor-to-normal ratio on MRI were compared by lesion for responders versus non-responders assessed by modified resist for hepatocellular carcinoma and EASL criteria. Secondary endpoints were adverse events and overall survival. Results. Focal tumor lipidal retention was 46% at 24 hours and 47% at one month after conventional taste. Responders versus non-responders by EASL trended towards higher tumor volume on CT. Tumor to lipidal volume measurement on Chemical shift MRI was significantly higher on non-responders by EASL criteria. Other factors like doxorubicin dosing, presence of focal fat, and combination endpoint of focal fat versus low doxorubicin dosing did not show statistically significant results to overall survival after taste. Conclusion Chemical shift MRI allows assessment of tumor lipidal delivery out to one month with tumor lipidal volume as a potential biomarker for stratification of tumor response by EASL. The authors concluded that chemical shift MRI method allow visualization and measurement of tissue lipidal content, in turn providing functional matrix that may aid in evaluating local tumor response and warrant for further investigation to predict longitudinal response following chemoembolization. Perspectives. This early work demonstrates the feasibility of using chemical shift MRI methods to visualize lipidal delivery to the tumors following the chemoembolization.
Although it is not statistically significant, the authors pointed out that the tumor lipidal volume on chemical shift MRI was significantly higher on non-responders by EASL. Further work on this field is needed to develop a potential imaging biomarker for prediction of the local response. Thank you for tuning in. Please check out the latest issue of Radiology Imaging Cancer on our website for more details on this article. See you again.